Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. Uh, today we're going to go over how to change, uh, you know, the landing pages with CPA Grip templates. Um, I went over this before, but a lot of you, I guess, are new, of course, to the channel. You haven't, you know, seen, uh, you know, exactly how this is done. And so what you can do is go to cpagriptemplates.com. Uh, they'll give you a, a number of different templates that you can click on. For instance, there's just tons of them. Uh, and I'm pretty much going to show you how you can go through, you know, and change each one of these. Now, when you go here and you click on a template, you will get a custom CSS code, which is all of this. And then at the bottom, you will get a custom HTML code, right? So when you go to CPA Grip, under the file locker, URL file locker, you go to advanced and you'll have the custom CSS and the custom HTML. So all you have to do is copy the code, right? And so what I normally do is I'll click in here. Uh, well, if I right click, it'll copy everything. So you're going to have to start from the top and just kind of drag your way all the way down to the bottom. All right? It's pretty long code and just keep going until you get to the end of it. If I can grab that last piece, there we go. And I'll right click, copy, come here and I'll paste that in the CSS right I'll come back here and I'll do the same for the HTML copy all the way down to the bottom we come up a little bit and then I'll make sure I copy this grab that last little piece if I can there it is and then right click copy come here and then paste that there once I do that I hit refresh and it pops up right here right it gives me everything I need. It gives me the comment section. People can add, post a comment, things like that, right? The best thing about these is that they update. Like today's the 28th, it updates automatically. So it's completely up to you. Like I said, you can load more comments and do all that kind of stuff, right? Now, for instance, how do you change all of this kind of stuff uh, to make it whatever you want to make it? it's going to be inside of the code, right? So basically what you can do is, let's say for instance, <clears throat> I want to change, you know, the so what the comments say, depending on whatever it is that you're going to be promoting. I could click in here and I'm on PC, so I can hit control F. It'll bring up this find tab right here and I'll just type in thank you. And there it is. I think that one's just thank you so much. So we'll say thank you and then for uh, the giveaway, which I believe is that one. Okay, here it is. So I would be able to copy this, delete it, and let's say you were doing uh, a free ebook. You could just say thanks for the free ebook, and then I'll just put my name. Right, and then if I refresh that and we come down, bingo, thanks for the free ebook, Jeremy. Right, and so you can go through here, you can change the actual names. Like, if I didn't want her name to be Karen Daniels, I can say Samantha, oh, whoops, Samantha Green or something like that. Right, we we'll refresh it, you come down. Her name is now Samantha Green, right? I could even change her picture. I could even make it to where this is liked. I can add other replies. You can do all of this, guys, inside of the code, right? And so that's all you would have to do. Now, for instance, as far as the picture, this is the actual image here. So if I click this, and normally, how you can find the images on any landing page is like you do the same thing. Once you copy it in there, you can control F and then you'll always type in IMG and then SRC. That stands for image source and it'll give you the images or you can just right click and uh, inspect element to find that. So if I copy this just to make sure it's the right one. And then I open up a new browser and I paste that link in there. Okay, so this is that was the wrong picture. This picture right here is the one that's at the top. So I could remove that. Right? That's this picture right here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that in just a second because I need to go find what picture I want on there. So what I would do is I would go to imgur.com. All right. This website right here is really good for, you know, uploading pictures and things like that. All right. And then I would click on new post and then I would drag an image here. So let's say it was a free ebook or whatever. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to get somebody else's uh, ebook. And let me see if I can find an image that I like that I can actually save. Let's see here. I'll just say this right here. So I would right click this image, save it on my computer under affiliate. All right. And then I would come here and upload it. So I actually could have just dragged it, which probably would have been a lot easier. Let me see if that works. If I can just drag this on here. OK, it won't let me do that. So I'll have to upload it. So let me go here. Bingo. I'll add that. And then what I'll do is copy it. I will go to CPA grip. I would delete this code here. So watch this. Delete and then control V to paste mine in there. And then I will put dot. Now, what if it's a dot JPEG, you put dot JPG. Or if it's a dot PNG, then you'll just put dot PNG. Refresh and bingo. All right. So now the book is there. You could actually resize it and all that by doing this. Okay. The width and the max height, you can resize the image and all of that. I believe that's what this is for. So let me see if I can do 80. If that was too big, let's see. Yeah, it got a little smaller. So let's see if I wanted to go to around 50. Boom, and it got smaller. You guys see that? So now we're changing that. So like I said, you can go through, change all of this stuff. And then, uh, we of course, we can change all of this to say whatever it is that you like. You could change this at the top. So that's right here. You could just say, you know, free ebook and things like that. So let's say free ebook or whatever. That would change that. The date stays the same. And that's pretty much that, guys. Now, if you want to start changing colors and all that, that's when you come to the CSS. You could change the background color because right now it's set to white, right? Uh, all you would have to do is just find a color code which you can Google color codes and then just paste that code right here to change it to red or, you know, green or blue or however you want to do that. Uh, but that's just one of the basic ways, guys, right? And then once they click begin download, they'll get all of these, right? They'll get all of these. Now, what I was going to tell you guys before is some people were asking me, uh, if you don't want low paying offers, what do you do? And you simply just go to offers. For instance, I'll click out of this. You will go here to offers. Right. Click go to my offers. And then on the side. You would just go to. You would just uncheck whichever ones are low paying. So you can click on payout. These are some high paying ones, right? You just keep clicking on that. If you don't want any low paying ones, you just uncheck them. Just keep unchecking them. So that way when your locker pops up, then you don't have to worry about getting low, getting you pay those, you know, smaller commissions. Now, what we can do again, we can go back and find a different one. Now that was very, very basic guys. But if you want to get more advanced and more technical, some of these are really, really, uh, can get really, you know, technical. So let's see if we can do one of these game generator uh, ones and see how these turn out. Because these are uh, pretty cool. And so let's, for instance, we'll copy this one. Because the game generators are pretty cool. You can uh, change it to whatever you want to make it stand out. And that's what I recommend. Like I said, I always tell people, take your time, do your research on, you know, take your time. Like, there's no reason to rush uh, any of it. Right. There's no reason to rush it. Dang, I probably do need that last bit. Just give me a second. Let me pause this to make sure I get that whole code. Got it. All right. So 
we go to CPA grip and then that was the CSS we come back here again and we just copy this HTML all the way to the bottom right thing I did I did it again guys that's one thing about this like you can't do control uh, a because it copies the entire page so you gotta kinda just go through here and I think you could act, I probably could have actually copied it from the top which I think I'm being retarded right now but here we go so boom paste that in there and here's your game generator okay so if it lets me scroll down hold on there it is okay so people would you know they'll put in a username blah 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 they'll pick Android you know PC or Mac they'll connect it'll go through the spill connecting server so this can be pretty much whatever you want it to be but then again like I said you guys can um, change all of this to make it whatever it is that you want uh, want it to be so once it says successful we go through all that add the value I don't know what that means or whatever generate had to go through all of that so if you want this to be something dealing with uh, Bitcoin selling vacation shoes uh, anything investing I don't know what you know it could be anything guys or a course or anything it will go through this whole entire spill and then from there you know you will get paid but let's go through this and let's see what we have so we can go like I told you guys right here you click in the HTML box control F to bring up the find box I'm not sure what it is on Mac I don't use Mac so you might have to figure that out but after that we go to IMG and then SRC we got our first image which is this right here and so we'll see what this is which image this is so usually copy that open up a new window just to see what you know what image that is paste it okay that's this entire image so let's say we want this to be let me go to Google wait let me I can just do it from there go to Google and let's say I want it to be uh, I don't know I'll just say a Drake album <laughs> I don't know I'm just gonna pick anything random alright so let me just use a lot of stuff is old so it doesn't really matter just example uh, let's say this All right I can copy this I will save it all right and then I would go here and let me just go back to the home page new post choose download that and again copy that link come back to CPA grip this code here that's already there delete it paste the new thing and then put dot jpg at the bottom at the back of it dot jpg if you don't put the dot jpg or dot png then it won't show up hit refresh boom and there it is right so whatever you guys want it to be you can do that and then we want to get rid of this Pokemon go hack volume 2 Point one, so I would do the control F again. I would type in Pokemon uh, Go Hack, boom, right here. So we could just say new Drake album, right? Refresh, and that should be gone. And we should have new Drake album. You see that? You could change the color of that and all of that stuff as well. You know, if you want to, but you would have to kind of change that up there up top. Up top, CSS is usually the background colors and all of that stuff. Now we got another background image, guys. Let me bring this down some. We got another background image, which is this back here. So we would actually have to find that image as well. So sometimes you may just have to scroll through and find another uh, image source. And that'll give you the background image, which I think is Ash uh, Pokemon. So this may be what we just added. Yeah, that's what we just added. 
and then here's a new one so we'll see what this one is so we'll copy that paste into a new tab this is the Pokemon ball so let's see where that is on the so that's this image right here so we can remove that put a picture of Drake so that's what I'll do let me go back to Google I'll grab one of these pictures of Drake probably this one uh, save as and this is how you guys can do this all day long like you can literally uh, change all of these pages but it, it takes a little time some people are not willing to put in that time to get the, the the best results possible but like I said if you take your time don't rush it you know the more the longer it takes the better it's gonna be and then after that uh, it's all she wrote you can just collect payments after that so we'll go back here and then we'll delete paste the new into dot jpg refresh the page so now we should have a picture of Drake bingo you see that so that's that and we can change all of this of course which I'm not gonna do in this video but I'll just show you how you do it you go to the fine and you just start typing are you oh there it is right there are you still so boom it's all this right here are you still wait are you still looking yeah so it's this right here you can delete all that write whatever you want right when you get down here you can even change this from username so uh, username I was about the wrong uh, so let me go down here a little more boom so you could change this placeholder from username to phone number or email you could just say email address right or whatever you want it to be it just depends on what you're promoting and how you're doing it so now it says email address right you can go here from you know Android iOS you could change this depending on what it is that you're doing you may not want this to say this you may want it to say something else uh, let's see let me go where it says uh, let me see so we'll go here to where it says Android option one Android you can make it just say uh, one copy because you can say how many copies do they want uh, copy what because Android is right here whoops so we'll say one copy boom and so if we come back down oh that was this so it's supposed to say one copy and I'll do a, a capital C on that one so let's say how many copies do you want that's what we could put but one copy uh, then you can put two copies or three copies of it and then you can click connect now if you don't want this to say connect it could say something else you could also change this and then this background image which I will have to find let me exit out of that and see if I could find that background image because you can also change this image and normally it will let you right click but now I guess I'm gonna have to find it here so I'm thinking it's right here yep and I think I just found it right at the top so I'm thinking uh, whenever it's like a background background image it'll be at the top under the CSS so if I go here and I paste this bingo there it is All right so let's change that image to uh, I'll just change it to this Drake image so I'll save this one even though you probably won't be able to see much of it you know what I mean you'll just be able to tell that it's different so then we'll go back here let me go uh, to new post again I'll go in here and I'll grab this Drake image and then we'll copy that we'll go to CPA grip we'll delete that and then paste the new link and then put dot jpg right now I want you guys to pay attention to the background okay as we uh, click the refresh see if it changes bingo so now it's Drake you see that so now you basically learning HTML on how to build you know quality websites so like I said you can change all of this stuff guys you can even change when you do connect like I'll just put in anything when you do connect 
you can even change the word, this part. You can change this part. Uh, you can change, you know, the validating the user, all of that stuff, guys. Like, make it say whatever you want it to say. Uh, and then you can change this part too. Right? And so, uh, this is the kind of stuff that you can do once you get, you know, more advanced. Like I said, it says an after active campaign because I just put in anything. But like I said, you can change all of this. You know what I mean? Like, all of this kind of stuff, right? They'll be able to do whatever it is that you put in here. And when you go to these templates, you can change any one of these. If you like how the template is, you can do that with any one of these, right? And that's also works the same way with view page source. When you view page source something in here, you can go through and just find out what you want to change about it. And then that way you can kind of create that landing page. That's how you you know, go through and, and change landing pages and, and things like that to, to match whatever niche it is that you're in, okay, to make it more, you know, uh, convincing. All right, so hopefully that helped, guys. Make sure you comment below this video. Uh, I will be uploading a lot more videos, you know. I'm just trying to give you guys the best content as possible, so I'm, gonna, I'm trying to switch my, my videos up, you know, in a way that's going to be a lot more appealing to you guys, but... Uh, stay tuned. Definitely thank you all for subscribing. I'm getting close to that 10,000 uh, mark, 10,000 subscriber mark. So thank you all for watching. Hopefully this helps. All my information is below. My text message, my email, uh, all of that. Just contact me. Hit me on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. And uh, yeah, man, let's connect. Let me know what you guys want to see, what kind of videos, whether it's Forex, investing, credit, all of that. I do all of that kind of stuff, guys. So uh, just let me know and uh, I will see you guys in another video. Peace.